student help desk instructor Leroy Wan had his high school tech exploration program go above and beyond competing in multiple competitions this year. The first was the MIT World Digital Fest Summit, coming in first place overall. We really only had like a matter of days to respond and prepare, but luckily, as I said, we've been doing things with drones for a while. So I already had sort of a trifold. The guys had already built the drone and had it working. So we thought, okay, we'll enter this in as kind of like our sort of robotics entry. The students on the team did a great job just presenting what we're doing and uh, we won first place in $500. So that was, that was a nice thing. Their drone was built by his students who had to work together making sure it functions properly. It's a lot of different parts that are involved. So if anybody's ever like actually f uh, bought a drone off the shelf, um, usually it's not too hard to just um, charge the battery um, learn how to uh, control it and fly it. This is obviously a very different thing in that you have to build all the parts uh, as you see them. So basically kind of the arms that have the motors, you have like this unit at the top that controls it, you've got GPS here. This is basically kind of like the receiver um, for the controller or the transmitter. Leroy explained how each individual part takes time to build. Trial and error is a definite. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff that the students have to do to really just get basic things working. So I'm gonna move the controllers down. Okay, so you're gonna get that signal and then that spins the motors up, okay. Obviously I don't have propellers now because uh, that would be dangerous because <laughs> that would mean the drone would like, fly up. There are different things that the students had to do to obviously make sure that all these things were working properly. And so, you know, that, that's, uh, that's a big part of it is just getting it to work, uh, period. And so we had a number of crashes, a number of just weird things that happened. And that goes back to like three years ago when we started this process. Um, it could be something as silly as like a propeller not being put on tightly enough. Um, the way that the wiring works is, um, the, the motors have to spin a certain direction. You know, these opposite ones will have to spin one direction, whether it's clockwise or counterclockwise, and then the other ones are the opposite of that. So I've had students wire things um, improperly, not remembering polarity, and then like the drone will just tip over. They learn a lot of things about just um, engineering, design, safety checklists, and things like that. Uh, so it's a really good experience to just sort of go through it, even though there's a lot of frustration sometimes when things don't work. But that's part of the whole process, the engineering process uh, of trying to figure out why isn't it working, how do we get it to work. They also placed third in the region at the aerospace robotics competition. Building the drone and I guess really honestly getting it to work <laughs> is a challenge in and of itself. But then being able to sort of build additional things to it and, and getting it to do things like pick up these straw cubes or like balls and kind of drop them in places that you have to for, for like the goals of the competition. Leroy is proud of his students and what they have accomplished this year and to be awarded two trophies is definitely a great way to end the school year on a high note. It was a very hands-on experience that um, required a lot of like technical skill learning and development and also stuff we've learned in school. We don't have like a shop class or like an auto class or anything. So the drone internship was the perfect way for us as people who've never experienced those kinds of classes to get a taste of that and it, I think it really helps with our learning. Just a really gratifying thing this year was just doing things that we had never done before. So essentially winning two awards accomplishing some things that we had never done, just seeing their excitement. So their happiness made me happy. Just as long as they accomplish good things, that's what I, I look for and that's what makes me uh, feel very gratified about the program. Congratulations to Leroy Wan and everyone on the team. From Area 123, I'm Robert Paris for B News Weekly.